I'm KB with Nerd of Files. How are you both? Hello, hey. how are you? Are you doing good? I am doing well. I'm doing well. So I absolutely adore this show. And this season, it feels like the clients are a bit unhinged. Uh, the American company has a lot of demands. They don't seem to know how Savoir does business. And it also feels like everything from a business perspective that can go wrong does. So for each of you, if you had one piece of professional advice for your characters, Sylvie and, and Julian this season, what would it be? And I'll start with you, Philippine. I'd tell her to do exactly what she does at the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Get uh, out of there and do your own business. <laughs> Listen, she's been at this a long time and she is truly a boss. She knows her clients to a T. I can't say I disagree. I'm like, listen, you should do that. You should right. just move on. <laughs> move on. <laughs> what about you, Samuel? Well, I'll tell him to, to chill out a bit. <laughs> to chill out, be more humble and, you know, Work, work with his uh, co-worker and use them as an asset and not uh, as rivals. It's true because I feel like Julianne is a bit high strung, but also silos. Like he separates himself so much from everyone else. And you're like, just use your resources. Just exactly. use your resources. <laughs> And so, of course, this season, there are some love surprises that come about, uh, particularly for Sylvie. So, Sylvie, what do you think that kind of new love in this season teaches Sylvie about life? Well, it teaches, it, it brings back her sweetness. It brings back her, you know, something about her youth brings back her tenderness and makes her more vulnerable. And that's really nice. You know, it she is. doesn't have to have that armor on like she had with Antoine. Obviously. Yeah, it's really nice to see a different side of Sylvie too this season, you know, one in which she is able to just have fun. I feel like oftentimes, particularly like in season one, the back and forth between, you know, Sylvie and Emily, a lot of that was just the fact that like, she just would not let her guard down. And so it is nice to see Sylvie let her guard yeah. down a bit this season, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it and, is. Yeah, and for you, Samuel, you know, will we see Julian find love? I feel like we always see Julian working and I need Julian to have like a more of a social presence in season three. Like what type of romance do you want to see for Julian in the future? Well, I feel like, I feel like, you know, Julian is like, a, he's, a, he's a young man, you know, he's like, a, you know, in, de in de developing himself, you know? So like focusing on work and flirting a bit, you know what I mean? So <laughs> so let's just keep, keep seeing playing around. <laughs> yes. You know what? Maybe we can find Julianne a little, uh, you know, love flirting in the office. Like maybe in season three, we bring someone else in and maybe it's a coworker because I feel like Julianne never leaves work. <laughs> Ooh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do oh, that. You know, maybe bro. it's Luke. <laughs> it would be amazing because it would be very unexpected. I feel oh, like no one would see it so coming. And then it's been to yes. together since the beginning. <laughs> yes, plot twist. It's always been there. It's always been there, <laughs> right, and right, no one right, knew right. until now. I love this. Well, thank you both so much. I really enjoy season two. Fingers crossed there's a season three because I need to see more. And y'all always end on cliffhangers. And this cliffhanger is the one that we need. We need this. So thank you so much for chatting with Nerdophiles. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank, thank you. you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.